enjoy learning about our Southwest Florida wildlife, well then you need to head out to the Peace River Wildlife Center. That's also where you're going to find Executive Director Robin Jenkins and then some friendly critters along with her. So great to have you back, Robin. Thanks for having me, Stephanie. So I just have to say his name one more time. It actually sounds kind of like a professor, a fancy professor. <laughs> uh, it's Squigford, Leonard P. Squigford. Did I get that right? That's right. And he is a squirrel, right? He is a squirrel. But he is also a special needs squirrel. He is. He's about 10 weeks old now. and just he 10 was. Weeks, huh? yeah. Oh, listen nope. to that. Oh, he uh, he was okay. born with a congenital condition in his brain, didn't form properly. Okay. So it, it affects his cerebellum, which is uh, controls his coordination and movement. His balance is a little off. So his balance is bad. It causes intention tremors. When he's at rest, he's fine. But when he's concentrating on something, trying to eat or trying to go somewhere, he veers off to one side or the other and, and has some trouble. Um, so does he do better around. being hand-fed, it looks like? I mean, is he... Um, Actually, kind of holding him in place there. You're right. Um, he he does better uh, if he's if he's you know got some pressure on either mm -hmm. side of him. So uh, when he's in his cage, he'll lie down on his side oh. to eat, or he'll crawl. He has a little stuffed panda bear. Oh, he'll gosh. crawl under that, oh. so it, it gives him some pressure. Uh, to, to help with the intention tremors that he gets. Now, was he born with you guys, or where did, where he, did he... He came, he was found on the ground after he'd come out of his nest, uh, which is fairly common mm -hmm. with, uh, with little, uh, you know, squirrels. You get a lot of critters that way, right? We do. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the issue that he had wasn't noticeable right away, because mm -hmm. uh, as he was nursing, he, he seemed perfectly fine. Yeah. But when he got a little bit older and started walking, we realized that he had a problem. Can you put him down and see, because you can... Yeah, he, so that's just kind of what, so you knew instantly something was wrong. Right, he can't, he can't walk well. Uh, he is on medication, which helps him a lot. Now, will he live a, a long, healthy life? He probably like will. Uh, we see kittens that have this, uh, this syndrome. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, when mom was pregnant with them and got distemper, feline distemper, okay. they'll have oh. this cerebellar hypoplasia. It's one of the last portions of the brain to form. And for whatever reason, that disease causes it not to form properly. I don't think squirrels get distemper, yeah. but uh, something happened uh, in utero that mm -hmm. affected this little guy. Now, the distemper, I mean, that's supposed to be a positive thing, though. I mean, is that just sometimes it just depends? Uh, no, distemper is a viral disease. Oh, it is. Okay, I was it's one of the that things that, one of the that we, shots that we they, yeah, we give shots so they don't get it. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but kittens that have this, as long as their owners uh, can take care of them properly, mm -hmm. just takes a little extra patience. And you know, we've 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 um, tried different things with him, and we, now we know you know the best way for him. Walnut there he's that a little walnut. He's on. Oh no, he's can clean oh, himself. He's making the cutest little sounds. I don't know if anybody can hear, <laughs> but he just kind of like these little chirps. <laughs> but uh, Squigford here, Mr. Fancy Squigford, is just one of the many animals that you can see when you come out to the Peace it River is, Wildlife yes. Center. For anyone who hasn't been out there, Robin, mm -hmm. kind of give them a background on what they, right. what they can expect. Okay, well we are a wildlife okay. rehabilitation facility. We uh, take care of injured and orphaned wildlife mm -hmm. with the goal of getting oh, them back out him? into the wild. Is that a different no, one? that's another little baby squirrel being fed. Um, we get them back out into the wild, if, if at all possible, and the ones that can't be released into the wild uh, get a permanent home at our facility and are on educational display. And you guys are always looking for volunteers, so again, if, you, if you're coming out just to see the animals, you know, you might be able to get a little more involved with hands-on. You actually started mm -hmm. out as a volunteer, right? I Give did. I started story. out volunteering, uh, cleaning cages one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> and look at me now. And you're the executive director. Uh, yes. Explain the need, though, because I know you really depend on the community and the community help to absolutely care of these we we have uh, nine paid employees uh, three of them are full-time most of them are part-time only one day a week couple hours a week everything else is done there by volunteers yeah. and we get no federal or state funding so it's all made possible by donations from the community mm -hmm. if somebody wants to help wants to donate wants to come out where can they find you or what's the best way to well you can give us a call at 941-637-3830 and uh, you can also go on our website, PeaceRiverWildlifeCenter.com, and uh, you know we've Get got wish lists, on there as wish well. lists on there of things, items that we need. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we can fill out a volunteer application, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, come down and visit us anytime. We're at the far <laughs> west end of Marion Avenue. Come down and see uh, Robin. Come and see Squigford, Leonard P. Squigford. <laughs> you did fabulous. Oh, little guy. Robin, thank you so much. It was great having Thanks, you back. Definitely. We'll go ahead and send it over to Carly.
What a great name. I love it. All right, up next, we call in the Masters to help pull off an incredible New Year's Eve party. Celebrity chef and season one winner of MasterChef will be joining us after the break. But first, your Fox forecast, the news headlines.